Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a water resistant test with the Moto G6 Play for Boost Mobile. Now the Moto G6 Play is a pretty fantastic smartphone if you ask me. I mean, it's not perfect, but for the low price that you can pick this up for, $79 at your local Walmart, that's where I got mine. I'm pretty pleased with this smartphone. I think it has a really nice display. Performance is pretty good as well. I mean, you're getting pretty much like a near stock Android experience. Cameras are good, audio quality is extremely good, and the build quality is very nice in my opinion, and not to mention the large battery that you're getting with the smartphone. Now the Moto Display also has a water repellent nano coating that's supposed to protect from light spills, splashes, and some light rain. Let's go ahead and test that out right now, pouring the entire water bottle directly on the display. Now I've done tests like this on the past on my YouTube channel, and one thing I've always noticed that happens a lot is once you start pouring water on the display, the display starts flickering, it starts jumping from one application to the other, it just starts having a really hard time. As you can see, the Moto G6 Play is not displaying any of that, and actually that water repellent nano coating is protecting the display, and the water is just rolling right off the display, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and test out the display now, just kind of scrolling. Um, the display is wet, my hands are wet, but as you can see, I am in the app drawer, and it appears to be functioning pretty good there. Um, the back is wet, as you can see. Um, so let me go ahead and try to scroll into the Google feed there, and there I go. And as you can see, I can scroll through some of the articles. Go back to the home screen, try to open some applications. So getting out of there, opening up the Moto app, no problems there, the dialer, and everything seems to be you know, perfectly fine, not noticing anything wrong with the display. Testing out the fingerprint sensor now. And again, the sensor's wet, my finger's wet, and it doesn't appear like I am gonna be able to unlock the Moto G6 Play. So let me go ahead and clean off that sensor as well as my finger, and let's test that out again. So as you can see, now I am able to unlock the Moto G6 Play. So if your finger, your fingers are wet, the sensor is wet, it might not unlock for you, but as you can see, it definitely survived the water bottle test. All right, let's go ahead and move on, and I got the stopwatch here. I'm gonna submerge this in this bucket of water. Now, Motorola is not claiming that this can be submerged whatsoever underwater, but I wanna test this out. This is 12.15 cups, 97.31 fluid ounces, 2,880 milliliters. So the size of this bucket is very comparable to like water that would be in your kitchen sink, your bathroom sink, even your toilet. I mean, that's those are some of the places where we commonly drop our smartphone. Definitely seem like the perfect size container to have a water resistance test. And again, Motorola doesn't claim any type of IP certification on the Moto G6 Play. But I did get a couple comments in my unboxing video if I can do this test. And as we saw, it can definitely survive the water bottle test. That's 500 milliliters of water. And there was really no issues there whatsoever. So we are on about 45 seconds now. Now something else to pay attention to is when I remove the G6 Play, from the water if there is a notification that the headphone jack is plugged in. Because I've done this test on other smartphones, even that have an IP certification, and typically I'll get a notification that the headphone jack is plugged in after submerging it underwater. So as we can see here, we are at a minute and seven seconds. Let's go ahead and stop the stopwatch now and see if I can stop this. So, um, so maybe because the display is wet, my thumb is wet, I'm not able to stop the stopwatch. Uh, as you can see there. So I do have a towel here on the table. So I am gonna go ahead and wipe the display dry as well as my fingers and then see if I can stop the stopwatch after that. So let's go ahead and test that out now. Try to pause the stopwatch and there we go. So it seems like it was just because the display was wet as well as my thumb. And I'm also gonna test out the screen sensitivity now and just kind of scroll around. And as you can see, I am in the Google feed. I can scroll through the articles there and then go ahead and uh, just test out some applications as well. Now it doesn't appear that there's any type of water that went into the display itself, and I'm also not getting the notification that the headphone jack is plugged in. Testing the fingerprint sensor, it is functioning and working 
perfectly fine even after being submerged for a minute. Let's test out the audio quality now. So we'll get some music playing here and I'm pretty sure there was water that did get into the front firing speaker but for the most part the audio is actually sounding pretty good on the Moto G6 Play. Maybe a little distortion there but like I said that's to be expected. Got a front firing speaker. I can definitely feel some water being pushed out of the speaker but nevertheless audio is playing there's no issues there headphone jack no notification that it is plugged in i'm also going to test out the camera but here's a little sample of the audio from the moto g6 play all right so next thing i want to test out is the rear facing camera 13 megapixel rear facing camera. And basically what I'm trying to see here is if any type of water got into the camera lens itself, like internally into the camera. And it doesn't appear like there's any type of water that got inside. As you can see, everything's looking pretty crystal clear with the rear facing camera, which is pretty awesome. I thought possibly there was a high chance that water did get into the camera, but everything's looking very clear there. And like I said, the Moto G6 Play is a pretty fantastic smartphone. So if you happen to pour, you know, a large amount of water on your G6 Play, if it happens to fall maybe into the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink, even possibly the toilet, there's a good chance the Moto G6 Play will survive and be perfectly fine. And like I said, I'm not noticing any type of issues after doing this water resistant test. So that's basically it everybody. If you found this video helpful and informative in any way possible, please hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel for more future videos. This is Paul Tech and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.